Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be setting up a object to fire at so that we can test our weapons and we will be importing our weapon mesh in the next video. So please wait for it. So let's get started. We'll go into the first person BP blueprints and then we'll right click blueprint class actor and then we'll write it uh, test object damage then we'll double click it and open the editor then let's maximize this then uh, let's just uh, go to content start in content props and let's just take this rock and uh, make sure that you have the rock selected here and let's just drag it out a little bit let's just add a static mesh SM rock make sure that this is SM rock written then the, this static mesh will be added to the scene uh, you can also add uh, just a static mesh component and just choose a static mesh from here this is basically a stat static mesh component with the rock as the stat static mesh selected and the material already selected so let's add a box collision let's type it uh, pain volume uh, and let's click the rock and then let's just click block all just click this sm rock go down to collision collision presets block all now um, let's just see the pain volume let's just scale this up a little bit uh, just like this and a little bit okay let's just make it bigger yeah now let's just drag it up and that's just fine okay let's just bring it a bit down now now uh, let's just select the pain volume right here uh, and let's pull this out and uh, no, no no just select the pain volume and right click and click this little pin here add event for pain volume collision add on component begin overlap uh, and right click again uh, uh, no let's just select the pain volume right click add event again collision and this time on component and overlap now let's just drag off the other actor and type class to first person character or whatever character you're using and let's add first person character uh, let's just go into the first person character blueprint okay i already did this so just uh, let me delete this yeah let's just delete this now right click uh, let's just type uh, no, first let us make a new variable uh, this is gonna be float and type in health it's gonna be health of the player and let's just set it to float then right click and uh, any damage just type in any damage and there will, there will be an event called any damage then let's uh, just set health you can also just drag 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 it out here and just set it but I like it do, do it like this okay then uh, just get health this time get then subtract float minus float then let's just subtract the damage from the health and let's just set, uh, set the health just like that now uh, now if we, if we have to check that if the health is below than a certain number so now uh, let's just right click let's just run a branch you can also type in if and the branch will come up and then uh, let's just pull this here and right click is less than equal to uh, if it is less than equal to zero then let's check out from true and let's just type in destroy actor okay that's it for this this blueprint and from now let's just get this uh, as for some first person character right click apply damage 
Uh, no, there, there is this and this step in you can apply damage then let's just run a branch it said can apply damage get uh, okay just uh, just drag it here drag it from here and just type in set can apply damage uh, oh no sorry set can apply damage to true and let's just come bring this here and uh, let's just bring this here right here now uh no no sorry sorry i'm very sorry so let's just remove these pins and just bring this here yeah and let's just compile the blueprint and set the default value of can apply damage to true then if can apply damage okay then just set it to false then if then set can apply damage to true then uh, apply damage damage actor just uh, cast to first minute, just drag it out from here uh, choose it to damage actor then this base damage let's just enter 25 and then add a delay and let's just set the delay to one second uh, and I'm sorry, uh, we don't need this branch here. Let's just disconnect these nodes. Let's bring this down. And let's connect it here. And we need this branch right here. Let's connect this to this. If can apply damage is true, then come back to set can apply damage. Okay, uh, so let's just make this a bit tidier. Uh, you can double click on. on uh, so, okay. Uh, I don't even know how to do this okay whatever let's just wait now this is just fine right here and uh, let's just from here the uh, same thing uh, the actor cast to first character whatever character you're using and then set okay no wait just, no yeah that, that's good uh, set can apply damage to false and I'm sorry for being such a noob here but uh, I'm learning as you guys are learning I'm a noob myself but we learn by mistakes so I think this should be fine right here uh, let's just try it oh I forgot to put it in let's, uh, let's just drag it in let's just play yeah uh, we can do anything right now that's that's working just fine uh, okay maybe it's not working fine uh, I think it's because uh, we should set okay yeah well yeah it's working fine I said that so health 100 sorry now uh, I think we should try to damage the rock so let's just uh, let's just go to the fire function and line interest for objects let's uh, uh, let's get the out hit uh, right click press break hit result and then choose the hit actor no yeah choose the hit actor and right click and apply damage apply damage just connect these pins and the base damage should be uh, I think 20 should be fine and then apply damage then this should be fine I think uh, okay uh, yeah we need to add a health health variable right here again let's just type in health and set this to float same thing again just right click and uh, event event any damage and let's just set health uh, to health 
minus float minus float health minus damage and let's just plug this in here health and then again we run a branch uh, if health is less than equal to zero then we destroy the actor I think this should work just fine let's just check it out display oh oh yeah we forgot to set the health let's set the health to 100 whatever, whatever number you want uh, now let's compile and let's play and when we hit this it just oh wait uh, something's wrong here uh, okay looks like this thing has collision uh, yeah so now let's just check this out pain volume overlap or dynamic no overlap all set this to overlap all then close this and I think this should work just fine now yeah it's working fine now this uh, as you can see this is a simple damage function we have got here and uh, how did we die okay whatever let's just wait so guys this was all for this video uh, we'll debug a few things or I think we'll just import the weapon mesh in the next video so see you guys next time later